Good day, Sagittarius, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for August 26th to September 1st. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Eight of Hearts, Nine of Hearts, Jack of Spades, and the Five of Clubs. Okay, so your general energy uh, for this week is the Five of Clubs. Uh, broaden your horizon. Yeah, you need to broaden your horizon. You're gonna. You need to go through some negativity that will lead you uh, to adventure and change, positive adventure and change. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna have to go through some negativity, which is the broadening your horizon. Now, broaden your horizon can be a number of different things. Kitty, can you move? I know you guys can't see her, but she's like right by my hand here. Um, anyway. So, broaden your horizon can be a number of things. It can be uh, doing something that you're, you are you don't usually do or thinking a way that you don't uh, usually think or whatever. It's just changing something uh, within you and around you, you know, uh, doing something that you just don't usually do, you know. <sighs> Hold on. This cat, she's being such a brat this morning. Okay. So... Uh, go through some negativity, you know, maybe change the way that you're thinking about something, uh, maybe change the way that you see something, uh, or maybe, you know, take on an adventure that isn't something that you particularly are interested in, you know, it's, it's simple stuff like that, uh, that you need to do, and by doing so, that's going to bring you adventure and change, uh, good positive adventure and change into your life. Uh, so now is a time to open up your mind, you know, uh, be very um, uh, open to anything that comes towards you, right? So anyway, the beginning of the week, uh, you have the eight of hearts. Um, yeah, you're holding on to something. There's something that you're holding on to. And you need to let it go. You need to let it go, even though it's going to be painful, because whatever this is, is uh, something that's dear to you. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be a person. That can be uh, a job that you're holding on to, a thought that you're holding on to. Uh, this could very well have something to do with broadening your horizon, broaden your horizon by letting something go. You know, that could very well be uh, what it is. And uh, you need to let it go because whatever it is, is holding you back. It's holding you back from moving forward in life. Um, I do feel a sense for some of you uh, that whatever this is, is like bringing you down. Like it's literally stopping you from, from moving forward. Uh, so it would be best to broaden your horizon and let it go, whatever it may be. Um uh, but, uh, yeah, it is going to be painful. It will definitely be painful. It will be negative, you know, like the card, like the five of clubs says, you're going to have to go through negativity, um, in order to get this positive adventure and change, which can definitely be whatever you're holding on to. This cat, she is being something else this morning. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. Let go of the things that you're holding on to that are just not serving you no more, you know. Uh, they're just bogging you down. In the middle of the week, you have the Nine of Hearts. Uh, a wish fulfillment. Uh, love, happiness, joy, all the good stuff is yours. Uh, provided that you're grateful and celebrate the blessings that you already have, right? Now, you might be like, well, what blessings are those? Well, like I always say, those of you that have been here, you know what I'm going to say. If you have a roof over your head or food in your belly or a good job or even a job alone, uh, kids are doing good, your health is doing good. We all have blessings to be grateful for. Um, like I always say, even the homeless have blessings to be grateful for. Uh, there's soup kitchens, there's shelters, you know, there's all kinds of things to be uh, grateful for that we're all blessed 
uh, with. Uh, so do that and you will uh, find more happiness, love and joy. And I kind of feel like this is really hard for you right now. I just feel like for a lot of you, you're holding on to something. I, I think you're holding on to something negative, like a negative feeling or a negative thought. And I feel like that negative thought is stopping you from being grateful and celebrating the blessings that you already have. Um, I feel like you're really in this, like, just bogged down um, kind of mind frame. And you really need to broaden your horizon on that and see that you are blessed. At the end of the week, you have the Jack of Spades. Be the rebel. Yeah, you need to be the rebel. You need to let out your rebel yell. Now, a lot of times this is a political um, card, you know. Uh, you need to be a rebel when it comes to politics, uh, the things that you believe in, and go after those things because all missions are possible. You know, like say you have some kind of like a uh, protest rally or something going on, or maybe you even uh, put together a protest rally and you're wondering if it's going to be okay. Well, it will be. It'll be just fine. It'll work out just fine as long as you go at it with a re rebel with a rebel's heart, right? Uh, let out that rebel yell. Now, this doesn't necessarily need to be uh, political. Uh, for some of you, it will be. Some of you, it won't be. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like, though, this is you being a rebel against yourself, against your, the things that you're holding on to, against the uh, negativity of being grateful for your blessings, you know, uh, against the not wanting to broaden your horizon to take on adventure and change. I feel like you need to be a rebel against yourself and rebel against your, your whatever you're going through right now. Because uh, I feel like a lot of you are going through something uh, that is just holding you back, like it's holding you back from uh, the good stuff. Let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say about it. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Okay, so... Yeah, you got a lot of opportunity in front of you, I feel. I feel like you have a lot of opportunity. This is the Four of Pentacles. And I feel like you have a lot of opportunity and that you could be on top of the world, provided that you broaden your horizon. But this card also comes as kind of a warning, right? Uh, that you don't step on the people around you uh, to get that adventure and change in your life, you know, uh, to move on with your life and, and get that love, happiness, and joy. You don't want to step on the people around you you don't want to cause them uh some kind of negativity uh to right you know bring yourself up uh society you know in society and whatnot so just be careful the choice be careful how you let go be careful how you you know, are grateful and celebrate. Be careful how you broaden your horizon and use your rebel yell uh, so that it doesn't uh, affect the people around you negatively, right? You don't want that. You don't want to affect people negatively um, by stepping on them to get where you need to get to. So there you go. I hope this uh, resonates. I hope it helps in some way. If it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy